What's up YouTube, it's Josh Creates here with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use an inkjet printer using heat transfer paper. But first, let's go over the, the equipments that you need to successfully print on a heat transfer paper. First, you'll need a heat press, no matter what size. You need Teflon sheet to protect the shirt so it won't get burned. Of course, a t-shirt, no matter what color, whatever color you're using. I forgot, I forgot what this is exactly called, but I guess it's like a cutter, some type of cutter to give an even cut. You need heat transfer paper. I'm using the Avery DIY t-shirt transfer, the one for light fabrics. Make sure you, you choose the, white, the right one. I'm using the one that says light fabrics. You could probably mistake it and use the dark one. I'm using the 893, 8938 type for 8.5 by 11. And next you need an Avery account. It's completely free. This is like the best thing to do, to use, if you wanna, if you wanna use a heat transfer paper. So what you wanna do next is go into Avery, type in avery.com, put in, go to the templates, Go to fabric transfers down there and then choose the the right type of sheet you want to use for your design so as you can see it says 8938 just like it says on here on the actual heat transfer paper covering you want to select that so here i'll be i won't use it the long way i'll use it this horizontally so i'll choose this one select this design it's gonna tell me all the things how to use it all right so you want to go over here to image I already have it or you could do text base right here it's up to you but I'm gonna show you how what I'm doing I'm gonna browse file I'm going to go I'm gonna go down and choose my file, which is the spicy file. I'm gonna open it. They're gonna tell you if your um, image is like small, large, or needs higher quality. If you just don't wanna do that, just click continue. This is what I like about um, Avery. Some other platforms, they might have that, that issue. And then next thing you know, you can't print the um, heat transfer paper or your design. So what I'm gonna do is kind of size it. So it could be like a little bit more zoomed in on the shirt. That looks good. That looks good. And then you're gonna go down here and say preview print if you think you're ready. They're giving me a warning. My image is too, it's stretched too large. I know the, the dimensions, so I'm just gonna click anyways. So after this, they give you a preview of how it's gonna look. And then you want to go to get PDF to print. Now, when you select this, they're going to ask you to save it. Save to your account so you won't lose it. And now you have it. Now, the thing about this is that when you get the PDF to print, it will open. Oh, I select open PDF and it will be automatically flipped. So when I press the, when I put the light fabric heat transfer paper onto the shirt, it will already be flipped from left to right so it could be in the right um wording so you could read it properly and then you want to go to print up here make sure everything looks good all the settings are proper canon mg 2500 series make sure it's in color and then when you're ready to print hit print I don't know why it's not focusing. Oh, I forgot I have to connect it. Let me go connect it. Just put in the USB. And I was connected. And I forgot, this is like the another equipment that I forgot to explain. You need an inkjet printer. This is the Canon um, MG2500 series printer. 
You can get this cheap almost anywhere, but try to get it secondhand off of Mercari or offer up. You could go to Walmart or order order it offline from Walmart and get this cheap. It's not the best. It can only print eight and a half by eleven. Some printers print um, A3, which is I think eleven by seventeen. And if you want to do that, you could go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I have the design right here. Spicy Lizzie, that's for a business. I kind of made it too big, as you can see. The Y is not fully out. It's not fully um, positioned. It got cut out a little bit, but that's okay because I already did another one. I already did another one, and it came out perfect perfect so let me turn on my heat press but this is how it came out it came out nice look at the the jalapeno the pepper homemade pepper sauce you could go you guys can go and try that out search it up on google spicy lizzie homemade pepper sauce is really good really hot for all my caribbean people actually anybody that's interested into pepper sauce but for now I'm gonna come back while this heats up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit after that in the meanwhile I'm gonna cut the borders out you could either cut it with the scissors or you could use this to cut it I'm gonna show you guys actually so we're gonna flip this up put this over here this in make sure it's lined up with this line so it could be edge to edge perfectly and properly so I think that's good hold it down in place press and then go to the left I'm, I'm using one hand so it's kind of hard there we go lift tear and now I have now I just have that. We're gonna do the same thing at the bottom. Don't forget guys, I'm doing this with one hand. That's why it's so weird and, you know, I could probably knock down something and all hell breaks loose. Do it again. Actually, let me start over here. Just bring it, don't press down on it yet. Just bring it to the other side. When you press down, when you press down on this, it makes the blade go down to the paper and you might accidentally cut. But if you would just wanna bring it to one side to another, just toss it to the other side don't press it down so I'm gonna go ahead cut shout out to my Cricut maker who's holding this so I won't yank it over the table uh, I don't think I did a good cut since I was doing this with one hand uh, I actually did If I was doing this with two hands, it would be a better cut where it's just, I would even have to peel it off. So don't worry about this. Don't forget I'm doing this with one hand, so I have to do this. Uh, and I'm just showing you, you guys. I already did one. I don't need to do it again. And that's it. I'm not going to do this side. I should do this side. Let's do this side. It's up to you guys. Don't forget, this is heat transfer paper for light fabric, so this is not really going to show much or damage your design or your t-shirt. It's not going to show on your t-shirt. See, that's how it's supposed to be. I did it way better this time. So while that heats up, when it's done, when it's at 350, I'll come back and put this heat transfer paper, the design onto the shirt. So the heat press reached 350 degrees, as you can see, it just went up to 351. And now it's time to put the design on the shirt. And remove this. Remember, it's already flipped, so when I put it like that, it'll be perfect from left to right. Three fingers down. Oh, I forgot. I forgot one more step. Preheat, always preheat. Like five second preheat. 
Now it's time. Always reheat, remove that moisture. <clears throat> now it's time to put the design on the shirt. I'm gonna put it right there. Make sure it's flat, because it's under this heat, it might curl up, which is what it's doing right now. So let me hurry up. Put your Teflon sheet over. And then let's press. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Remove your Teflon sheet. As you can see, that's the design. It's flat right now. I'm gonna remove it. Actually, I'm gonna turn my heat press off. Save me a bill. <laughs> Save me some current. And now I'm gonna wait like two to three minutes. You know, because um, you want to do a, a cool peel, a cold peel, not a hot peel while it's still hot. Always wait like two minutes so it can cool off, then peel it off. So two minutes gone by, now it's time to peel. You can either use your finger or use a weeder. Oh, let's, let's use the weeder. Because I never tried the weeder. You can either peel from the top corner, bottom corner, this corner. I don't recommend peeling from the middle. Always from the corner, you can use your weeder to kind of get under it. Don't forget guys, I'm doing this with one hand, one hand. All right, I'm gonna peel from the bottom corner because the top corner is not being my friend. Oh, I need to hold it down some way, somehow. Nope, the top corner is not it. want you to guys to see me peel this now I'm trying to do this with one hand while I'm recording I do not want to stop actually let me guys put you guys right here yeah that's a better angle and then you guys can see me peel it all right all right I need to hold the shirt down so it won't lift up Peel slowly out of this bottom. There we go. And there we go. Spicy Lizzie with the halfway E. This is just my fault. I put it way too big. Make sure you have the right dimensions though. But this is the shirt. This is a eight and a half by eleven. I did cut some of the bottom and the top off so it could like look more cleaner and nice and yeah this is how you can sell shirts using an inkjet printer and heat transfer paper you do have to buy ink a lot not too much because you i think you get like 16 prints with like a whole cartridge of black and color ink so yeah depending on how much you're creating how much shirts you're creating for a business for just designing or for anything um, you could get like 16 prints out of like a full cartridge of ink, of colored ink and black from a Canon MG2500 series. So that's it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to read your instructions on the heat transfer paper. It says do not wash in 24 hours. I'm going to wait 24 hours to wash it basically. I kind of said that kind of mixed up and backwards. But do not wash the newly heat transfer design in 24 hours you gotta wait 24 hours um yeah that's about it that's how you use an inkjet printer for heat transfer paper it's josh creates um i may make a, another video soon but stay tuned i'm out